What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Elite Collection Series 73, Grand Metallic. And so here we have Grand Metallic posing out of the packaging. Before we have a look at the figure, let's actually take a look at what he comes with. Grand Metallic comes with his entrance jacket, which does look really nice. I like the detail on it. He also does come with two pairs of hands. He comes with a pair of grip hands. And he comes with a pair of style pose hands for a Lucha House Party. Other than that, he doesn't come with anything else. I think a pair of fists or another pair of style pose hands would have done nicely with the Grand, Grand Metallic. With that out of the way, guys, let's actually have a closer look at his details. And so here we have a closer look at Grand Metallic. And I really do like the detail that went out in on this figure. Now, I do know that there are two versions. We have the blue version that I do own and then a black version, which unfortunately I never came across, which I probably would have preferred the black attire, but unfortunately I was only able to get hold of the blue one and that was because I bought the entire case off Ringside Collectibles. So having a look at the detail on his mask, love, love, love the detail on this mask. That is so nice. You can see all the sequence on it, the meshing, looks really nice. I especially love the way the gold looks on it. Especially the wrinkles up here at the mask. You can see a seam line and then a little bit of wrinkles. Turning onto the back we have some more detail and then we do have his hair sticking out through the back of the mask. That's kind of how my hair looks only mine is about that much longer but that's neither here nor there. Really do like the face, although the eyes, you can tell that they're still the old-fashioned hand-painted eyes and not the photo reel that Mattel has been using. I can understand why, because apparently they can't do recesses, so mask characters always will have hand-painted eyes, unfortunately. Because apparently they can't do recesses, I don't know why even Hasbro has said that they can't do it. Taking a look at his attire, I'm going to say this right off the bat. Mold the top piece of the torso in flesh colored plastic because you can see that there is a huge color contrast between his shoulders and his back and it's even worse on the back. Look at that. It's like really dulled out and then it's really vibrant here on his shoulders. Mattel really needs to start painting this the color of the flesh tone and then just painting on the attire because that is getting ridiculous. I I mean, just look at that. That Under normal lights, I'm, I guess it's not a big deal, but under my studio lights, you can obviously tell that something is going on there. Really do like the detailing on his attire, though. I do like the fact that he's not reusing the really small build. I actually don't know where his body comes from. I want to say it's a Rey Mysterio, but at the same time, his shirt is actually sculpted on. It's not just painted, so... Don't know where this body came from, but it does look really nice. It might be the first time they use it. Might be one that we've seen before. I probably just don't have that figure. One thing I do have to point out is that his armbands are a little bit iffy. You can see just because of the way they follow the musculature, it does give that little wavy pattern. But that's okay. It works, except right here. That's obviously like frayed paint. His... Uh, wrist tape or gauntlets, they're painted on unfortunately, they're not sculpted detail. Something like this, I think they should go with sculpted detail just because it would look a lot nicer and that might have a tendency to scratch. Just future reference that Mattel needs to start sculpting gauntlets. And then he has big hands, I don't know why, but his hands are huge compared to the rest of his body. I mean if his hands were just slightly smaller I wouldn't have an issue, but he has really, excuse me, he has really big hands. And then we go on to Grand Metallic's uh, tights. As you can see, he does have a lot of nice detail right here. I really love the gold and silver with the red accents. That looks really good. We go on to his boots, and they're not as vibrant of a gold as his attire, but you can see that they are still a gold with some really nice black detail going around it. And then he does have white laces and white soles. So overall, we do have a really nice looking figure here. And I am glad that 
they made an elite Grand Metallic. So with that out of the way guys, let's actually get them compared to other figures you may have in your collection. And here we have Grand Metallic posed next to an elite Brock Lesnar and a basic Jeff Hardy. And finally here we have Grand Metallic posed next to the rest of Lucha House Party. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually run through his articulation. Grand Metallic does have the standard Elite articulation. If you don't know what that is, let's run through it really fast. He does have a really generous ball joint in the head, which does let him look up. Can't really look down. He does have some slight head tilt, so that's really good. Does turn left and right, despite having the ponytail. I would be very careful with that. That might have a tendency to break off if you're a little too reckless with it. Arms are on ball joints. They do go out to the side go all the way around we do have a bicep swivel which works fine he does have a single joint at the elbow swivel and hinge at the wrist no issues there he does have an ab crunch which does go back only to about there doesn't really go that far forward unfortunately he does have a waist swivel legs do kick forward to about there go back out to the side no problem we do have thigh rotation Double bend at the knee, going up only to about that far. Why, why does his leg only go up that far? Other elite figures go up even higher. Hmm, that's, that's interesting. We do have a boot swivel, hinge in the ankle, going back and forward. And then, of course, we do have rocker ankle. So, overall, really do like the articulation on Grand Metallic. Probably could have used some more forward rotation on his ab joint and better knee articulation. But other than that, still like the way the figure came out. So let's actually get him posed for my final thoughts. And here we have Grand Metallic posed for my final thoughts. And overall, really do like the way the figure came out. Now, I do know a lot of people aren't too fond of the Luchadors, especially Lucha House Party. Um, the way WWE played them out, they were more heels, weren't they? I mean, they... Kind of, they basically cheated in all their matches. I don't know. That's not for me to decide. But as far as the figure goes, I really do like the way Grand Metallic came out. And the detailing on his vet entrance jacket is really nice. I love the sculpt work on his head. I really do wish that they could find a way to do the real effects on recessed eyes. Because I think that would work much better than the painted on eyes. But other than that, I still think this is a really nice figure. If you are looking for a Grand Metallic, I do believe that Elite 73 is kind of hard to come by in stores now. I know some Walmarts are regressing and going back and putting out earlier waves, but I know a lot of them are starting to put out Elite 76 and 75. So finding this guy might be a little bit of an issue, especially if you're trying to find the Black variant version. That one probably is going to run you a little more. If you can find Grand Metallic and you're a fan of Lucha House Party, definitely pick him up. I think he's worth a pickup as well as the rest of the Lucha House Party team. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other WWE action figure reviews. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it's in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, don't forget to check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.